prize. Tell us a little bit more about what's exactly happening and what the wider context might be, politically speaking. Well, clearly the writing was on the wall for uh, the president, Roquemar Christian Caboret. He was first elected back in 2015. He was re-elected in late 2020. And since his re-election, uh, the situation has gone from bad to worse. From a security standpoint, especially, the north of his country uh, has seen a regular attacks on civilians, on security uh, forces, and there was really, really uh, an event that was probably the turning point. Uh, back last November, uh, several uh, dozens of security forces were not only killed, but essentially slaughtered in a northern city called Inata, and essentially uh, because uh, they were not uh, well equipped they were not even well fed. And this led really to a major scandal within the security forces, but also in the population, saying uh, this government is not able to protect us and is not able even to protect the security forces supposed to fight the terrorists. And so this really was a dagger uh, for Roque uh, Marc Christian Caboret. He changed a number of security chiefs. He reshuffled uh, his government. But uh, just a few days ago, there were already uh, some rumors of a potential coup. Uh, the prosecutor even came out and said, we've arrested several suspects uh, because we thought there was a coup. Several days passed, and uh, now we've seen uh, these events uh, taking place. And allegedly, now uh, Mr. Cabaret, uh, who is held or uh, either privately or uh, but clearly by the military, and we're expecting as has been the case in several countries in the region, uh, military uh, to come to the national television and announce that Junta is now uh, taking power. Presumably, he will say this is only to give back uh, power to a civilian government once there will be a transition period. The problem, as we have seen in uh, Mali or as we, we've seen in Guinea, is that once the military take power and they promise to give it back, well, they uh, tend to stay longer and longer and not really uh, give it back. And so this is uh, probably a big, big crisis again after Mali, after Guinea, in a security situation that's extremely volatile. But also, uh, we're seeing clearly democracy recede in Western Africa.